Just as the phase behavior of different hydrocarbons varies, so also does the density, viscosity, and compressibility. Gas and oil densities are normally expressed as specific gravities or API gravity. Some examples of crude oil API gravities are shown here. Note that the range of values is quite wide, from heavy crudes with values close to that of water to light crudes with gravities in the 50s. Gas-specific gravities range in magnitude from about 0.6, which is pipeline quality, to 0.9, which represents a rich gas containing condensate. Gas is much lighter than oil, and so it'll tend to move upward in a reservoir under the force of gravity, while oil moves downward. The crude oil viscosity will be higher, that is, have a heavier internal resistance to flow for a heavy crude and lower for a lighter crude. We can reduce the viscosity of a crude by adding lighter hydrocarbons to it or by increasing its temperature. Compressibility is the amount that a unit volume can be compressed per unit pressure increase. Of course, it is also the amount that a unit volume will expand per unit pressure drop. Its units are volume per volume, per unit of pressure, or one over the pressure unit. Compressibility can be a very important reservoir drive mechanism because the expansion of fluids as a reservoir pressure drops contributes significantly to production. We see here an example of some average compressibility values. Note that gas is much more compressible than reservoir liquids, and thus will expand more as pressure is reduced. 